Hello, everybody. Welcome to part 57 of Let's Play Dark Souls. I'm here, right where we left off last time. Uh, technically, I died and warped <laughs> to the other pond fair. Um, I was in the witch's costume, but I was looking over and realized it's really not going to make much of a difference. <laughs> so I'm just going to commit to um, staying dressed like this for the rest of the playthrough, because why not? Um, yeah, so we're here. We're fighting Gwendolyn, and... Um, Gonna give it another go. I was watching the video when I was editing it, and I realized that I was not dodging things correctly. <laughs> um, so we're gonna give this another go and see how well I can do it. So yeah, same cutscene. No need to watch it again. So I believe right off the bat, everyone's gonna warp away. And the key is you want to hide behind these. You want to dodge these. And then for the arrows, you can actually make progress if you like sort of go at an angle like that, see? And if you're lucky, you'll get up and get a few hits in. Just like that. And we heal. Oh yeah, they are sticking in me. <laughs> so yeah, the problem was I was trying to hide behind the arrows and not making good progress. Yeah, these big ones are not too bad to dodge. Let's recover some stamina. And get some more hits in. And did I just run past my souls? I did. Uh, no going back now. It'll be fun. I think once the battle's over, um, this whole infinite hallway gimmick uh, is no longer the case, so you can go back and easily collect your souls. So yeah, the strategy is get to these... Get to like a spot at about this distance. That way you don't scare Gwendolyn away. Wait for arrows. And then I'll give you enough of an opening to get a few hits in. See, so yeah, last time I was just struggling so much. <laughs> this boss does not need to be as hard as I make it out to be. Okay, yep, be patient for these. Okay, good. So yeah, um, I guess in the meantime, while this is going fairly smoothly, I'll quickly touch on my current life situation. Um, so as some of you may know, I have moved to a new job. I'm in a new state is going good. Um, the first apartment that I moved to when I was here ended up not being a good fit. <laughs> so in early January, I had to move again. And that's where I'm at now. So I'm all settled in. I'm not moving around anymore. I'm finally in the good flow with my job and all that. So that's why I'm finally ready to finish this series. Um, it's a bit of a double-edged sword though, because having to work the full-time job now leaves me feeling very exhausted. And that's why it's been a month and a half since I made a video. Despite saying I came back, oh, I'll just watch this first. Swathed in dark, an eternal curse upon thee. Just like that, space time has been restored. Oh, and I got an achievement. Nice. Um, but yeah, so short story is, as you know, I started making YouTube videos, then I stopped because I rage quit, and I came back for a little bit, um, and started recording before my full-time job was in full swing, then it was, and I've been exhausted, but now I'm back for good this time, and I mean it, I am going to, uh, what's going on, let's point forward, I am going to finish it. <laughs> uh, two main things are really motivating me, the first is that the Elden Ring is close to coming up. Uh, Elden Ring, not the Elden Ring. It's close to coming out. I believe February 25th is the date. And while I'm not necessarily saying I'm going to make videos for it, I'm honestly probably not. So um, maybe a few, but definitely don't expect like this kind of a playthrough of Elden Ring. Um, my goal was for a while to just have this out before then, so I feel like the pressure's on for that. And another thing that really kicked me in the butt is that another YouTuber that I watched, uh, his name is Spearmints. He makes FTL uh, modded videos. Um, I'm going to link him, plug him in right about here. Uh, let's see if I can point right up there is where the little thing will pop up on YouTube to check out his channel. But yeah, he uh, he's in a similar boat actually. He started at a new job at around when I did, and he was feeling um, you know exhausted with work and sort of took a break from making videos. But he recently posted a video again, and he says he's back, so I'm very happy about that. 
and that motivated me to actually get the job done myself. So that's where all that enough YouTube channel drama from here on out. I want this to be all focused on Dark Souls. And yeah, I'm going to do a bit of a blitz here. I'm going to just really rush through. All bets are off at this point. Online, I, online doesn't even work. I tried to log in the server. It says that they're like down for maintenance or something. So I kind of uh, dropped the ball when it comes to PvP stuff and PvE. So sorry about that. But, you know, can't have it all. So um, anyway, though. That means I'm just focused on the boss rush aspect at this point. We're going to finish and get the ultimate ending. That is our main focus at this point. We're just rushing through. We're not even caring about grabbing items that I haven't that I've already gotten. Um, new stuff I'll show, but there's not much new stuff at this point. Um, this is probably as juicy as it's going to get. So let's see what our reward was. Right, we killed Gwendolyn, um, and we're going to get ourselves a Sunlight Blade, which is a Gwyn related thing. It's a uh, this miracle basically gives you a lightning kind of effect on your sword, but as a miracle, so no resin required. Um, and then there's also some more treasure chests, which are not mimics, so don't worry about that. Um, oh, well, this was an empty one. Sorry, I think this is one of the few dud chests in the game. Uh, I don't know if there's any other examples. I feel like there are, but anyway, let's open this one up. And this will be the brass helmet, I mean, well, brass armor. And um, that's what that firekeeper was wearing. So if you want to look like her, this is where you get that. And uh, yeah, you might be wondering exactly where we are. Um, I think it was kind of mentioned, but this is uh, Gwyn Gwyn's grave, allegedly. Um, now, obviously, we know his body was burned up in, you know, linking the flame. So he's probably not actually in here. Maybe they got some ash or something. I don't know. This could just be symbolic, but this is where he's supposed to be. Uh, you can see just, like, some nice flowers there. Um, and we fought Gwyndolin. So Gwyndolin, there's quite a bit of lore here. Um, essentially, Gwyndolin is... Uh, started as Gwyn's son, and he's like the god of the moon, essentially. Um, but at this point, I believe um, Gwyndolin identifies as the daughter of Gwyn, um, and that's why that message you might remember from the last episode was amazing trap ahead. It's kind of just a meme because, um, you know, being 2020, I don't know if trap is still offensive. I don't endorse it but it essentially means that um <laughs> the context of it and i'll just put it out there um is that you know you're a guy you're straight you're looking for a girl you find someone who identifies as a girl everything's looking good then uh you're at the moment where you're having fun and then all of a sudden like oh it was a trap <laughs> now again don't just i'm just providing context okay <laughs> don't i neither endorse nor condemn the message i'm just a messenger so moving on uh Gwendolyn, you know all about the moon is like the one behind the illusion of anna orlando because as we see this this is the real anna orlando it's all dark and like gone because the sun is basically extinguished because Gwyn, being the god of the sun is you know running out of steam he is essential or uh Gwendolyn is essentially i'm just gonna call him Gwendolyn. I'm, I'm, I'm getting into the <laughs> he she kind of thing Gwendolyn is right now the one in charge of Anna Londo, and basically everything in here was an illusion run by Gwendolyn and Gwendolyn is possibly in cahoots with who we're going to talk with next and let's go ahead we have the lord vessel but we're not going to give it to France we're going to give it to Kat and I believe we can go to the abyss and just go do that so let's do that we're going to get some more information quite a bit of information I believe or maybe not too much I think it's the same idea just you know go collect the other lord vessels um, I have 181,000 souls. I think... Did I want to buy something? Did I buy the, um, spells from the guy login? I did. So I don't think there's anything urgently that I need to buy. So let's just level up instead. Let's get, my, let's get 40... Well, we'll work our way to 40 intelligence. Um, because then we can start to use some some spells. Uh, in fact, let's just, before I forget, actually attune some of these. Maybe I'll remember to use them. Uh, I'm going to show off. Let's definitely go with uh, Skulls, Great Soul Spear. It's a pretty cool one. Or just Soul Spear, I suppose. Uh, and then... So, I mean, yeah, these arrow, soul arrows are basically just like little simple projectiles. Uh, soul Mass is kind of a cool one. So I'll show how that works. Oh, that's right, we have a third one. Okay, let's go with... 
How about we can't use these magic weapons because our greatsword of Artorias is a special weapon, therefore we can't receive a buff. Um, same thing with shield and our dragonfish shield. Uh, body cast light. Where are we going next? We are going to be going. Oh, we're going to be going catacombs next. So cast light might come in handy. Uh, sure, just one. <laughs> I don't want to spend too much time here. I think I'm going to have to end up upgrading one too. So we'll go visit the. Um, Record blacksmith after this first maybe. Um anyway. Chit chatting, let's do some more chit chatting. You are astonishing. The truth I shall share without sentiment. After the advent of fire, the ancient lords found the three souls, but your progenitor found a fourth, unique soul. The Dark Soul. Your ancestor claimed the Dark Soul and waited for fire to subside. And soon the flames did fade and only dark remained. Thus began the Age of Men, the Age of Dark. However, Lord Gwyn trembled at the dark, clinging to his Age of Fire and in dire fear of humans, and the Dark Lord who would one day be born amongst them, Lord Gwyn resisted the course of nature by sacrificing himself to link the fire and commanding his children to shepherd the humans. Gwyn has blurred your past to prevent the birth of the Dark Lord. I am the primordial serpent. I seek to right the wrongs of the past, to discover our true lord. But the other serpent, Frabt, lost his sense and befriended Lord Gwyn. Undead warrior, we stand at a crossroads. Only I know the truth about your fate. You must destroy the fading Lord Gwyn who has coddled fire and resisted nature and become the fourth lord so that you may usher in an age of dark. So we're going to say yes, of course. Very well. I shall now guide you to Gwyn's prison. Be still and trust thine flesh to me. Okay, so this part looks exactly the same as when Grant does it to us. Um, but yeah, I don't know what happens if we say no there. I think he might just be like, well, sure, you say, I mean, yes, and you just have to say yes. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure Framp won't even talk to us, so I don't know how else we beat the game at that point. Yeah, here we come. Only difference, of course, is that he's coming up from the abyss as opposed to above from this is wherever. <laughs> now, place the Lord Vessel upon the altar. I think this is going to be basically the same. And there we go. So I think we'll have some final parting words with him. Are we embark? Very well. Once the vessel is filled with souls, the gate to Gwyn shall open. Seek Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, and the traitor Seath the Scaleless. Fill this vessel with their souls. Then the gate will open so that you may kill Gwyn. 
Are you ready? Then let us return to the abyss and trust thine flesh to me. I'm back we go. I think we can warp from the actual thing, so I don't know if this is necessary, but either way, we're going, so we'll just go with the flow. Um, so let's talk about everything you just told us. Um, it's not too much, it basically just boils down to the uh, actual truth of the world is that the Dark Soul was, you know, like uh, if you remember in the intro, you have the Light Soul, which is Gwyn. Um, you have the Life Soul, which is which of Isolith, the Death Soul, which is Nito, and then there was the Furtive Piggy, who found the Dark Soul. Well, the Dark Soul became essentially the source of all mankind, right? Because, you know, with Gwyn, you got these, like, you know, giant, giants and gods, and then Nito's skeletons, and uh, the Witch of Isolith is the, uh, you know, like, these demons and fire people. Although, I mean, they weren't demons. In fact, that's something that's kind of like up in the air, exactly what they look like before the chaos. But um, they definitely probably weren't human because humans were the Dark Soul. So where do we want to go? Uh, let's see on my list here. Next up, we're going to be going to the catacombs. We're going to get that out of the way. So that means we probably want to go to Firelink Shrine. So go here, because yeah, I'm going to try to do the catacombs quickly here. I want to really, last, you know, because First time we did catacombs, we're taking our time, going easy. This is going to be different. Um, we are going to really be zipping our way through. And okay, actually, before we go to the catacombs, let's quickly go down to New Londo and um, talk to Rickert and see if I can get a... Um, oh, I just realized. Do I have any things for him? Uh, I don't think I got the enchanted now. Um, basically, I want to upgrade my wand, <laughs> and I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do it now. Although, oh shoot, I just realized, I think in Dark Souls 1, you don't have to upgrade your things, your catalysts. Um, go with Beatrice's catalyst. Why not? It's abyss themed, right? I mean, we're uh, kind of abyss themed. Okay, we're gonna find out real quick here if I was right or wrong. This might have just been a waste of a trip. This guy's chilling. Love him. All right, what you got? Mm -hmm. Well, this is unusual. Never mind. And more importantly, well. Okay, I don't think I even talked to him yet. So yeah. he's introducing himself, but it's the same as before. Um, have you? Is safe for those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I think it's not much of a reinforced weapon. Yeah. I don't think we reinforce catalysts now that I think about it. Um, yes, I'm correct. Okay, well, we got to say hello at least. But the good news is that means we don't have to upgrade because I don't think I had enough materials anyway. So that's awesome, right? We're just wasting more time than we really need to. Uh, that's not where I want to go. My time, which is already so valuable, has already been getting wasted. Yes, I do value time. Um, that is my advice to anyone who cares to hear it about time, value your time above everything. You know, money, there's ways to make money, but there's no ways to make more time. Uh, okay, set. Up we go. Because, yeah, a big part of why I wanted to move um, from my initial apartment when I came to the new area where I am now is my trip to the gym so I go with my friends and they uh, they have a gym they go to which was not where I was living in and it was taking me quite a bit of time to drive there and uh, now my time to drive there is a lot less <laughs> now I see that's not the only reason that I moved but it's one of the main reasons so very happy about that uh, anyway so I got to move 7,000 souls. Not much to do with that. We need like 80,000 to level up somewhere in that ballpark. Oh, oh, he's still here. Here, let's talk to him and watch, watch him get all pissed off. You sorry fool. You could not be the chosen one. Enough. I shall slumber until I am awakened again. And off he goes. Yeah, yeah, what you got? You are a fake 
my dude. Um, so yeah, let's actually talk a little bit about Framtier and Dwindolin because the two of them are actually in cahoots, as it turns out. Because since Gwendolyn, since all of uh, you know Anerlando is a scam, essentially, it's all fake. It's not real. Um, that means you know why is Frampt ushering people along? That means either he's in on the scam or he's uh, unaware. Now, unlikely that he's unaware that is a scam. So, it, what's really probably happening? The theory is, and again, not my theory because it's just me watching videos that explain these things better than I do. The idea is that um, for reasons. Him and Gwendolyn want the Age of Fire to continue because uh, obviously that's like how they're most in power. Um, because of that, and they want it to continue, they are essentially looking for candidates that they can use to link the fire. So they feed him the whole Gwyn story. And then uh, is the guy here? Did I already come down here? I feel like I did come back down here didn't I, for some reason in this playthrough. I don't <laughs> I don't remember how far I got. So I think oh god, what did I come here for? I think was it Vamos? Oh man, did I see Vamos yet? I feel like we might have Okay, either way, the uh the goal of this run here is to make this go by really fast. Oh wait, you know what? I wanna I'm gonna back a little bit here. Because I do want to I think, oh, did I come here to do the uh, Gravelord Covenant, I think? I think that's what it was. Okay, you know what, hold on. Uh, what I want to say is, just for safekeeping, I want to get to the bonfire first. Did I fight Pin Whitley yet? Still need to determine that. Um, well, since I'm offline, it's going to be very hard to check that way. I was thinking, like, if I tried to invade... I'd I don't think you can... No, you can invade. What you can't do is summon people in somewhere that you've been. So let's rest here. It's going to respawn all the skeletons, but it's fine, because we're going to be running past them. But either way, let's just make our way down to Pinwheel. Um, I might make a drop down to Vamos anyway, just just in case we haven't seen him. If we haven't seen him and you don't know who I'm talking about, <laughs> I'll, I'll explain when we get there. Uh, if he's already been activated, I'm going to assume that he's already... Um, yeah, I've already talked about him in a previous video, so I won't spend too much time. Wait, what am I doing? I should at least kill the skeletons, because, like, I'm used to, uh, you know, when you come here early, it's because you're so weak, you can't really fight them, but and it just becomes stressful as, like, you're trying to make these jumps, but if you have the time, I would recommend at least, like, taking it somewhat easy, and I believe it's right here is your first jump that you want to make your way down. Oh, boy. Yeah, I remember, yeah, we, we did this at some point, and I'm pretty sure it was in order to get to the Gravelord. So, let's move along a bit. Now, I'm, I'm very cautious because I don't trust myself, but if you're good at this, these kind of things, you can rush through the catacombs very, very fast. I think there's a pit my demon up ahead. I don't know if we fought him yet. There he is. All right, let's, let's not fight him. <laughs> Like I said, we are only fighting bosses at this point. I have pushed myself through the ringer enough. I don't feel like I need to prove anything anymore. Not that I'm saying I'm good enough, more like... I admit, trying to show off on a Dark Souls YouTube channel is quite a task. What the heck was that? Um, I feel like I've shown off enough. <laughs> Getting a Arturus build put together and fighting all the bosses is a big old good enough for me. Alright, um, here's going to be a good indicator if we fought the Black Knight down here yet, and I don't see anything. There's some really bad glare for me, by the way. It's really sunny at the moment, <laughs> and obviously this hopefully won't show up on the video, but um, it definitely won't. The question is, how much glare do you have? Okay, the Black Knight's dead. So maybe I already came down here. We might have even fought Pinwheel. See, the problem is I should know these things, right? <laughs> like, it's my YouTube channel and all, but I can't even keep track. Alright, tell you what, let's, let's go this way. Um, Oh. Oh boy. Can you heal before I get ground up? Oh shoot. These. <laughs> yeah, these guys had a rough, rough to fight. Okay, let's find them. I will cut back to that Black Knight spot.
Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. We're gonna we're gonna go to how we get to Vamos like from the top side. Because again, I'm not sure if we went to him, and I just realized it'd be a lot smarter to go the actual way to get to him if you haven't activated him yet. Which I don't even remember. I don't think we want to drop down here yet. I think we need to go through here and somewhere over there. Um, so what? We'll just go the normal way through the catacombs, um, fighting skeletons and all. And then, because I'm pretty sure it's fairly early up where you make the jump. It's, it's around where Patches is, that area. So we might be able to make a drop or two. Uh, well, okay, all the necromancers are dead, I just realized, which should be been making this all a lot easier. I don't know if Artorius' sword is like a holy sword weapon that can kill them. It might be. I don't know for sure. Might be confusing it with the cursed variation that lets you kill the ghost. Um, okay, I, that way is just a switch, so I think we just go this way. And I might be able to make a drop right here. Um, Oh yeah, I think this is exactly where I want to drop. Somewhere like that. And yes, here we are. So, Patches, is he up there? Yes, he will send my... Send me right, right down. Uh, okay, good, no Patches. <laughs> A little swig of this. Yeah, I don't remember how much we did in the catacombs here last time. Um, I'm pretty sure it was just to get the covenant. Okay, so once you're in... Oh wait, this doesn't seem right. Why does this not seem right? Oh, there's the great scythe. Is it this way? Uh, oh, there's someone dead. Alright, let's go this way because then I can at least kill a saw the necromancer. I did, or, or it might have been a just a skeleton. Um, either way, down here is where we want to go, and I feel like we've done this before. Um, okay, here, tell you what. let's um, do a little bit of cast light, talk with the glare a bit. Um, doesn't help too much. I don't know if you want to make a jump here. Uh, here. If I haven't used them yet, this is a perfect time to show off prism stones. I should have at least a few in my pocket. Um, do I? There they are. Okay, yeah, so these things, I don't know if I've ever even like shown them, so... Basically, you press X and you throw them down, and they're used to see... Oh man, now they make such a scream sound. <laughs> um... So I think it is a jump we're going to need to make here. And we're going to aim for that that item down there. So, uh, wish me luck, worst case. It should only take a few minutes to get back here. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, uh, let's try that again. Um, although, I just heard the hammering. Although, wait, he might do that anyway. Okay, either way, I'll cut back there. Okay, and I just realized, ow, if you've activated the bridge, you can just drop right there. <laughs> you don't have to go through that whole room. Um, so now I'm going to go over there. So yeah, that was not much cutting that I had to do. Okay, so let's try this again. This is definitely where you want to be. Um, okay, yeah, and there was not a necromancer. So I think I was looking at the skeleton and thought it was. Okay, so what I think it is, is you essentially just um, roll this way. Yeah, the, oh no. Yeah, so that's the platform you want to aim for. You just don't want to um, hit that rock that's jutting out there. Okay, let's, let's try this one more time. I swear, if we get there and I've already activated Vamos, which the more this is going on, the more I'm feeling like I did. I'm just going to feel like this was a big waste of time. 
my plan was like, oh, I know, I will um, show y'all how to do this quickly. But I go on and proceed to take like 20 minutes to do this. Okay, but we're being efficient this time, right? See, I didn't even have to make an edit there. I'm just jumping in, that guy fell. I made it. All right, so we gotta kill. Oh, all right, down he goes. Get our souls back. Um, oh, and rip the 30,000 souls <laughs> that I had before, I just realized. All right, so I think what you want to do is walk. But don't roll. And then, yeah, okay, here we go. That's how to do it. So not picking up that green shard is making me think I didn't do it yet. And now I think you can go down. Yeah. All right, let's see. And here's Vamos. Yes, so obviously did not get in this playthrough, but now that I think about it, I might have done this <laughs> in the first playthrough. Uh, but either way, we're back. He's a blacksmith. He's pretty chill. He's got a lava full coffin. I mean, a coffin filled with lava. <laughs> so cool. Um, I like his voice too. It's like he's on the radio. What's that then? Need some smithing? Then produce me some wares. Um, he's like tuning in from the afterlife. Uh, so his whole shtick is he makes, he's like, you know, every other blacksmith can do your usual stuff, but the main, with the embers that he works with are like the uh, chaos and the fire ones. So those, um, I'm pretty sure I picked them up. Uh, you get them in like the demon runes and Isolith. Uh, and then you, they can use to make fire weapons and chaos weapons. Um, chaos weapons just being fire weapons that scale with how much humanity you have. So that's his deal. Uh, what does he sell? Bones, of course, shards and arrows. Yeah, so it, he's like doesn't have much to sell. Um, I guess I'll stock up on a few of these. In fact, they just dump all of our souls. Just get a whole bunch. <laughs> uh, probably never have to buy any more for the rest of the game now. Uh, he can do repairs, but I'm out of souls. It's fine. Talk to him. I'm here to smith, not to chit chat. Yeah, so that speaks for itself. Um, you know, he's cool. There's not much to him, though. He's got a cool beard, too. If that'll be all, then be gone with you. You'll spoil my focus. Be gone with you. Yeah, <laughs> he's fun. Um, comes the bonfire, too, of course. Uh, I believe this is a warpable one as well. Maybe it's not. I don't know. <laughs> I think it would show up on the list even though we're sitting in it. And I don't see it, so I'm gonna assume you can't warp here. But uh, this is actually a pretty convenient bonfire for Pinwheel. Not that you're likely to die to him. Um, so let's go fight him. And there's a more than 0% chance. Oh, come on. <laughs> I was gonna say there's more than 0% chance I might have already killed Pinwheel. Either way, we're going to go do it. We're going to do it really quickly, and then that'll be the end of this episode. So let's try that again. Um, I hate these bombings so much. Okay, bob and weave. There we go. The problem was I just tried to stop and fight. It's just don't even bother. And I immediately did it. And look at that. I paid for it. Like I said, don't, don't stop. I'm not going to do it. Don't stop and fight. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna use uh, the soul spear here. Oh, did I? I did fight him. <laughs> well, that's a wrap, folks. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.